Let's try it again. Make sure you sing. What do we say to the teacher today? Much better. Hello, boys and girls. It is so lovely to see you in video form in this little box. How did I get inside this little box? Well, um, it's because, of course, we're all learning from home for the next few weeks. And... Um, and this is how we're going to have our music lessons. We're going to have one every week, just like you would with a normal music lesson. And the great thing is, is that you can watch it anytime you want. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and you can even re-watch it again if you wanted to. You might be watching this for the second or third time right now. Don't know why you would, but you might be. You've got that choice. And uh, I hope you all had a really lovely Easter holiday and that you've been resting and you've been doing lots of lovely things with your families, enjoying the sunny weather. And now we're back to school. I know that we're not in school, but we're still doing school work and we're still in a school frame of mind. We're still doing lots and lots of learning. And that's why we've got this music lesson, because um, you, we, we're going to keep everything as normal and easy as possible over the next few weeks. Okay, so in our first um, video music lesson with Mr. McKinnon, we are going to be doing three main things today. Three main things today. And uh, the first one is a rhythm game. Uh, the second one is also a rhythm game. And the third one is a singing activity and I know I won't be able to hear you but I want you to join in. Make sure you join in um, because this is um, a lesson just like all your other lessons and you've got to make sure that you definitely definitely join in so that when we come back to school you're still just as amazing and just as musical as you were when I last saw you. Okay so let's begin with, uh, I'm just going to open up because I've, <laughs> I've just realised that my computer has closed so one second, while I'm doing that, I want you to make sure that you're sitting really comfortably um, and you've got your shoulders back a bit because uh, I need you to make sure that you're really, really got excellent posture for our music lesson, okay? No slouching on the couch, no sort of um, wandering around, not paying attention. Make sure we're sitting and we're definitely paying attention. Um, okay, so this is called engine, engine. Okay, listen to the words. It goes, engine, engine, number nine. Say that back to me. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down Chicago line. Say that with me. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. See it sparkle, see it shine. Good. Engine, engine, number nine. Engine, engine, number nine. Good. Now, I'm going to do all of that together. I'll just move my computer so it's right here. I'm going to be doing all of that together. And I'm going to be adding some, in some actions. And then I have a question for you at the end. I want you to see if you can try and tell me why I did something. Okay, so the first bit is this. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine, number nine. Now, if you want to pause or rewind and do that again with me, go for it. Make sure that you're an expert at it. See if you can do it with me. Obviously, I didn't do the same action all the way through. I started off like this, and then I clapped my hands. I wonder if anyone knows why I changed it to clapping my hands a few times. Hmm. hmm. Well, what I did, why I did that is because at the end of each line was a one beat note. And because it was a one beat note, I clapped my hands. And that told us that was just one beat. So the end of the first line, the word was nine. So I went 
engine, engine, number nine. Like that. But all the other words went like that. They were quicker notes. They were a little bit quicker. But the important one was the one beat note at the end when we clapped our hands. So we, at the end of each line, we're always going to clap. Okay, so let's try it again. Make sure you join in with the clapping at the end. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine, number nine. This time we're going to not use our voices at all. We're going to only do the action. Let's see if you can do the clap at the right time. Are you ready? Did you manage it? Did you clap at the same time as me? I'm very, very impressed with you all. Fantastic. We're going to move on. If you want to try more of that, if you want to do that again, then please rewind it and try it again. That's absolutely fine. It's your decision. It's your video. Uh, we're going to move on. This is another one. This is a, another rhythm game called Bubblegum. Okay, now Bubblegum is a bit trickier. And we might do it next week as well to, because it takes a bit of time to get really, really good. Okay, so first of all, we're going to learn the words. The words go like this. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Okay, say that again. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Let me say that one again. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. I'll say that one with me again. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Good. Let's do the whole thing. You ready? Bubble gum. Bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Good job, good job. Every time we say uh, at the beginning of the, uh, no, every time we say bubble gum, I want you to do this. Bubble gum, okay? Bubble gum, so that's tap, tap, clap, okay? Bubble gum, bubble gum. Good, so at the, at the beginning of most of the lines, we do that. And then everything else that's not bubble gum, all the other words, I want you to do this. I want you to put one hand on your shoulder, and then I want you to put your other hand on your shoulder, and then nod your head, okay? So that goes chew and blow. Like that, chew and blow. All right, so bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Good. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. <gasps> and then the last line changes because it doesn't start with bubble gum. It goes, get that bubble gum off your feet. So the last line, always tricky, always tricky. So the whole thing goes like this. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Here's the last line. Get that bubble gum off your feet. If you have mastered that, if you've paused it and rewinded and tried it again a few times, then we can do it faster. Let's see if we can do it really fast. Are you ready? Here we go. Make sure you are <gasps> limbered up. Ready? This is the speed. Ready, steady, off we go. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Well done. You might want to pause that and try it a few more times. 
Good job. Well done. We're at the final part. We're at the main activity today. The main activity. I know that lots of you know a little bit about this already because we uh, we covered it um, in music uh, in some of our in some of the classes. Not everyone did. Not everyone did. But we are going to be learning some special hand signs for singing. As I told you, the last activity was a singing activity. And um, over the next few weeks, we're going to be learning more and more hand signs. So today, we're going to start with two hand signs. Okay. So you might be aware of singing notes going do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And backwards goes, ti, la, so, fa, mi, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Mr. McKinnon made a mistake there. Um, and there's a really famous song, of course, uh, called Do A Deer from The Sound Of Music. And if you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen the film or if you haven't seen the song, then I really recommend that you look it up on YouTube or you, or you try and find it online because it's brilliant and it uses all of those notes. Now, uh, we're going to be learning two notes today, two notes today, and those notes are called So and Me. Now, if you have done this with me already, then perfect, but uh, try along with me just in case you've forgotten because it's a good refresher. Okay, so as I said before, the notes go Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And the two that we're doing today are So and Mi. So, for singing, the note So, which sounds like this So, can you sing that back to me? So, I want you to put your hand like this. Imagine that on the palm of your hand is a special secret written just for you. So have it in front of you like that and we sing so and then down. So and down. So, 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 so. Well done. The next note is called me. Now so looks like this. Me is your hand flap down like that. Imagine an aeroplane flying in the sky. Me. Now we don't actually move it from the side to the side. We just keep it still. Me, 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 me. So, me, so, me. And it's important that so is higher. Make your hand go higher than me because me is a lower note. So, me, so, me. Okay, my computer's just gone off but just when I needed it again. So we'll try that again. So, me, so and me. Now, the song that we did earlier, Engine, Engine, which was Engine, Engine number nine. This time we're going to add some singing into it and we're going to be using our hand signs. So, we're always going to be moving from so to me. We're going to use the words engine, engine number nine. Watch the way I do it. See if you can join in with me. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Well done. And those notes, if we were to not use the words and we were to just use the notes, then it would go So, so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, so, me. Good. Make sure you've definitely got those two hand signs perfect. Next time, we're going to add in an extra um, one or possibly even two hand signs. I'm going to give you a sneak preview. One of them looks like this and the other one might, if we do it, looks like that. Okay, we're at the end of our music lesson. I want to remind you that 
on Google Classroom, which is I think how you're looking at this video now, you're probably using Google Classroom to watch this video. On Google Classroom, there's an extra page called Music Department. And I've sent an email to all of you. So you need to look at your school emails or get your parents to help you find your school emails because in there, there's a special invitation that I've sent you to join a special page and it's called Music Department. And in Music Department, you can find lots of our special songs that we've been doing in assemblies. Uh, if you're in the junior choir, then you'll find some junior choir songs in there. And uh, there might be a few more silly videos and things that I'll post on there too. So, as, so uh, as well as your normal class page, there's an extra page called Music Department and it's all about music. So you're not going to find anything that's not to do with music on that page. So get your parents to help you if you can't figure that out, but you should have been sent an invitation. And thank you so much if you've already joined it. That's great. I'm going to see you all next week. Keep singing. Keep trying those hand signs because next week we're going to be adding in two more. Well, at least one more. At least one more. Possibly two more. Okay. Have a great rest of your week. Bye, everyone.